So let's move further. So in our previous video, we were able to upload photo to Cloudinary, but somehow we were not be able to post the data to server because that was a protected resource, right? Now come in the sign in route when user is getting successfully signed in. First of all, we need to save that token token to low local storage. So I'll use this local storage dot set set item, and I will set the item with the name of let's say JWT, and we in this data we have token right we have token and what i will do i'll duplicate that and i will store the user detail as well right user and in this user and data dot user and i think this is a object so i need to stringify that because in local storage we can store only strings okay like so yeah so i think this should be the logic okay so we'll improve some more logic right we will be adding a lot of logic right we will be we will not allow we will not allow user to create the post when user is not logged in right so we'll be we have to add a lot of logic right we will be adding context api or maybe redux right but for now we will just work on this create post right okay so now we have token available in our local storage, right? Okay. So in this header, we need to add one more thing that is A U T H O R I Z A T I O N authorization, right? And this will be equal to B E A R E R B L R space. Now here we can concat local storage L O C L local storage dot get item and J W T like so. Let's first save this. Now we will log in one more time. So we, I'll go to the sign in, right? And I'll use abc at the rate abc.com and one, two, three, four. Let's log in. And let's wait for a few seconds. My internet connectivity is little bit slow. I'll go to this application. And here we can see we have two, two stuff in here. One is the details of the user. One is the JWT, right? Okay. Now I can create the post, create a post, right? Let's say uh, B A U T I beautiful weather. Okay. Uh, e N J O Y I enjoying W A T H E weather. Okay. And I'll upload a photo. I'll click on the submit. Please add all the fields. Oh, my bad. Let's have a look on the console if we have something. So our image has successfully posted to Cloudinary, but somehow we are getting, let's have a look. Uh, first of all, uh, we are setting URL, we are setting email, we are doing some all the stuff. Right, we have this bearer added, this token added. We have this pick, we have this title, we have body. We have everything, right? Then why we are getting this error? Let's look onto our server. We have this pick as well. Then why it is throwing an error? What I will do? I'll console.log on the server side this title does body and pick right maybe this pick is empty let's look onto the logic pick is equal to URL and we are changing this URL right when the image is uploaded yeah we are doing this we should not get this error okay let, let, let's try this right let's let's see try this one more time Okay, let's see if a server has restarted. I think it has. Yeah, it has restarted or we can restart the server again by typing node one app. Ah, okay, connected to Mongo. Okay, I'll click on the submit post. Let's wait for some time. Expected token, internal server error. 
Oh, console is not a function. My bad. Oh. Let's save this. Let's see if our server has restarted. Yeah, it has. Okay. Let's try this one more time. I'll click on the submit. And it is taking too long. Oh, I, I, I know. Yeah, you can see we have this error in the server side. Okay, I know. I know the reason, right? I know the reason. Okay. And the reason is, <laughs> the reason is, you know, too bad. Uh, let me show you the, the, what the, what the error is. So basically error is in this uh, model, right? Yeah, this is the photo, right? We are, and we have made this required. Okay. So let me go to this or not this okay so let me here write ph ph photo equal to this photo will be equal to now pick right and we are receiving that pick i can get it on this console.log okay so that was the error <laughs> my bad okay photo now photo is required okay let's save this okay let's see if our development server has restarted okay it has restarted okay and now let's clear our console let's cross our finger and try this one more time so i have click on the submit post and my internet is slow here you can see created post successfully we will verify that by looking onto a database i'll be going to the post and here we can see we have this no photo no photo no photo now yeah you can see on this last record we have this in this photo we have this url right and we can verify that by looking onto cloudinary so we have uploaded a lot of time in the cloudinary so we should see a lot of images in here right okay so i think our application is taking shape so we have uploaded that that too many times right because our server was throwing error but image was being uploaded to cloudinary successfully okay and it's fine for now we can delete some of them right so i'll pause the video and i'll delete some of them but I think our application is taking shape, right? We can make this home dynamic. We can work on this navigation, but we need to work on a lot of stuff still, right? So what I'll do, I'll see you guys in the next video. So bye-bye. Before ending this video, there's one issue which I want to point out in here. So in this create post component, we are posting uh, or we are making a network request with the, all the details of the post, right? But in here, first we are making a network request to Cloudinary and we are successfully updating the state and then we are making a, another network request, right? Uh, to post all the data, right? To post all the actual data that is title, body and the URL of the image, okay? But there is a little issue. Let's say we are making a network request. Now this network request will not now this network request which we are making uh, on our to our Node.js server, this not this will not wait for this to finish up. This 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 may take a little bit while, right? To post post the uh, file on Cloudinary, right? Right. This may take a little bit while. Now now when this is finished, then we should make this network request, right? Yeah. This is the issue number one. And the second issue is here we are updating this url right now this this operation also takes a little bit white right this also is an asynchronous operation updating state also takes a little bit while now what improvement we want to make is we want to make this network request to our node.js server once this state has updated successfully this url one set url is updated successfully then only want to make a network request so for that i'll be using use effect hook use effect effect now i can use this use effect in here now why i'm using this use effect i'll explain you in just a second right and inside this use effect i, I will pass a second argument that is of dependency array and inside this dependency array i'll be passing url right now this use effect will kick in when this url changes right the when this url changes and when this url is getting changed when we are updating our state so now this use effect will kick in kick in when we will update our state successfully yeah this is the logic behind that right okay so what i will do i'll copy this fetch code the fetch code 
yeah i can control x instead uh, i can do a control x right and i can put the code in here control v okay but there is one more issue that this use effect will also kick in when a component mounts so to prevent from this i'll put a if condition in here if url is url exist right if url exist then only we will call this then we only will make a network request so i'll grab this ending tag control uh, yeah i'll grab this ending tag control x and i'll put it in here like so okay so yeah this was the logic right okay so this was a little improvement of, uh, or a code refactor which i want to make right yeah so now this when our state uh, when uh, where is the code so when our state is updated right we have url in our state right then this use effect will kick in and then this use effect will make a net network request to our server right to our node.js server yeah okay so you can consider this as a callback right this will this use effect will kick in when we have successfully posted our image right yeah so this was an improvement okay so i'll see you guys in the next video